Hey guys, this is Peter again and welcome back to our blog tutorial part 3. Before I move on, I want to show you where were we left off. The first was creating the model, the controller and the views which are working now just fine. As you can see, this is the empty application and this is the first page. And if I type in posts, we can access our blog post from our database, which is right here at localhost server 2. It has three entries, very meaningful titles, and these titles are listing on the opening page. If I hit one of the links, I can see the details of the blog post which is the title, the date of the creation, and the body of the post. That's enough for now, but we want more than listing these items. We want to create new item, we want to delete and edit existing item. So let's move on and make the first step, which is adding posts. To add new post, we have to extend our controller class with this function name add. So go to the editor and paste the code add. As you can see, this is working. You cannot see now, but trust me, it's working. So the request is post, which means we have submitted a form and after that we try to save this submitted content, which is in the request data variable, and we try to save this content as a post. And If this function works well and it manages to save the content, we will create a short notice or feedback for our users to see that this uh, was successful but if something went wrong we have to send a message to that the saving process was failed save the file and go back to the tutorial see what's the next step data validation but the title is a little bit confusing because first of all we have to create a view for this function because every function such as index view add needs a view a html layout which will be the representation of the data of the results or whatever you want to call so we need an add file with the extension ctp to do that, go to the views, the view, select the posts folder, and you can see we have already have the index in the view CTP file. Just create the add and make an extension of HTML to make sure we can edit easily. Because CTP is an extension for cake PHP, so we cannot uh, edit without renaming this extension. Grab the content, copy and a little bit formatting, then you will see that we using the form helper. If you remember, we imported the form helper at the beginning of our post controller class so we can access from the view I don't want to move it so we can access from the view and we can create a very easy way a simple uh, form layout the post in the create function is a parameter which has to be the name of the class in this case the post class we can add easily input with the name title and with the name body and this second parameter will tell the helper, the form helper, 
that this input has three rows this makes a nice uh, input area, a text block area and finally we want to create a submit button which we can do in multiple ways but the easiest is to end this form with the name of the button and the title of the button save post so let's see how this looks like in our browser so if I hit posts per add I don't know what is missing yeah the CTP is the right extension which is now if I try this again <clears throat> yes I have a nice and preformatted form with a title nice. and the body and save post button if I hit your post has been saved so <coughs> the form was submitted the function grabbed the submitted data the request was a post the data was saved successfully via the post save function and the message was created to show us that this save was successful so you can read your post has been saved successful message at the top of your page if you see in the list there is a new title which I uh, entered nice title and here is some meaningful text switch over the database and there is the force lines too so it is working pretty much good see what's the next step the next step is creating a quick validation for our input fields and we can do this in the model class we have to copy all the content the post model content find the file and now this is empty till now because it has now the validation array and this array has only two rules which I formatting a little bit readable so if you can see the title and the body has a rule not empty there is many other rules which I'm not listing here but you can read in the documentation and see how this works go back to our application and access the page add now you can see the validation put a nice mark over here and if I try to save this post it says unable to add your post because this two item is empty if I hit something dummy here save this post it's still empty so you have to add at least one character to pass over this validation as you can see here is my dummy post and we did this validation in the model class so let's move on take our next step which is editing posts editing posts needs a new function and this function is right here we will name it edit you wouldn't imagine wouldn't you so just paste this into our posts controller and now I skip the formatting part just explaining so the function grabs an ID and this is the default value and it sets to the current ID this grab ID and if the request method was get so we enter the post ID to edit that specific post then it reads from the database and passes through the view but if it was a post request then we finish editing our post and we want to save it so it tries to save the submitted post data 
and if it is successful then a successful message comes back and if it's not then other message comes back and this part it's the same as at the add part because the functionality what we want to reach is the same so see how this looks like in the browser I hit edit to it says action edit is not defined in the controller I forgot to save the file again so save the post controller.php go back to the application and now the view is missing again so we are done with the functionality we need the HTML layout the view go back to the tutorial page scroll a little bit down and we have the edit CTP right here and we need a new CTP file this time hit name its name is edit if I manage to click yes edit the CTP I grab it immediately to the editor and I want to override the content with the tutorial so I like to close my PHP tags this is almost the same form as the add method has so we create a post form and the action will be edit the input the first input is going to be the title the second is the body and the third is the ID which we need when we want to save this content so we want so we want to update the content and it has some parameters the hidden is taking care of that this input field is going to be hidden the rows equals 3 is taking care of that this body input field is going to be a text field and we have the closing uh, button here the save post so let's see how it looks in the browser f5 yes I forgot to rename <coughs> from HTML to CTP it should work now and we can edit which post we want so the third fourth first and make sure that we give an other title the title of the first blog post if I hit save post the post has been updated and as we can see the title of the first blog post is now in the database if I go and see the title reload the table the title of the first blog post so we are fine it is working what's the next step next step is a simple layout uh, editing and I will skip this because at the end we will update the index CTP with the deleting and editing links too so just skip this part and go right to the deleting post as we did so many times we are creating a new function named delete the function delete looks like almost the same as edit or add it grabs an ID and do something based on this ID so if it manages to delete the post and try with this specific ID it sets up a message to us that it was successful but only when the request method was a post method so we can't uh, request this delete function via the get method save the file never forget just like me 
and go back to the tutorial and see the final version of the index CTP. This version has the link to adds new post and we can view our post as before. We can delete now with this link and we can edit if we want. So let's see how it looks like. Grab the content. Go back to index.ctp. Let's try that it can handle it or not. Yes, it can handle. So we don't need a renaming method. Just paste all the content here and see the front page, the posts. So we have the add post link, we have the delete link, we have the edit link. So let's go on and try add post and post for delete test. Ouch, yes, it's gonna hurt. Save this post and we have post for delete test. If I click on the title, I get the whole content. So the title, the creation time and the body. If I go back and click edit, I can add some more text if I want. Save. Your post has been updated, let's see. Yes, it has been updated. And only one functionality is left, the delete. If I hit the delete, there's a pop-up window to make to ask me if I'm sure to delete. If I hit OK, the post with ID6 has been deleted. <coughs> it's a little bit meaningless, ID6. As we can see, the application works just fine, so we can add delete, edit and list all the uh, entries. And this is the basic CRUD methods, the create, read, update, delete and the basic blog application is ready. One thing is left to do is the root update. As you can see there is the basic setup of the root update. If you go to config roots.php, you can see it yourself. So do that. Go that up config that roots php. And the basic is the pages controller display home. In this case, this is the basic home page. And we want to change this to jump right to the posts. We can do that with a simple line to change the default settings and tell the application that the default path should be the post controller index action. So if we save the roots.php file, go back to the browser hit F5 and now we are on the listing page. Also it works if I hit posts but it's much nicer without that. Maybe just for the listing. Yes, just for the listing. So we went through the whole tutorial, the application is done and it is working fine. We can do the basic CRUD actions and that's it pretty much. Thank you for watching. Bye.